Hello friend, welcome to Salesforce tutorial. I am Prachukta from Paragate Technology. In our previous video, we moved to little bit development part of Salesforce like uh, what is a static resources and how to use the static resources on Visual Force page. Today we are going to see about the custom setting. So how we will going to create a custom setting. So for that go to the search box and type custom setting. Okay, and under the develop section, you can find the custom setting link. So click on it and yes, click on the new button to create a new custom setting. So first of all, what is a custom setting? So custom setting is a special type of custom object or you can say that it enable application developer to create a custom set of data and this data can then be used by a formula field, validation rules, flow. Uh, or the Apex classes or we can say uh, in the APIs also. So uh, I believe it is a SQL way of storing our configurable parameter in the Salesforce database. So I will tell you the scenario for which I am going to create a custom setting. So let's say I want to integrate my Salesforce with the Google Drive and now I am going to create a custom setting for the Google Drive where I will store the access token, refresh token, redirect URL into the custom setting. Okay. So I will give the name as, uh, yeah, no, I will give the name as the Google Drive only and the object name I will give the same. Okay. Now the setting table type I will take as a list and the visibility. Now make sure if you make visibility as a protected then if your custom setting is used in manage package then the uh, subscribing organization cannot view or cannot uh, able to see your custom setting. So make sure your visibility mode of a custom setting as a public and let's say save. So it will going to create a custom setting for the Google Drive. Okay. And here I will create a custom field for the Google uh, Drive custom setting. Now it is very similar like a custom object. So the field it will create is similar to the custom object. So if I click on the new button, new button, these all are the data type that is provided by the custom setting to create a custom field. So if I go to the search box and type object, I want to show you the one difference between the custom object and the custom setting. If I open my one of the custom object like project and if I click on the new button to create a new custom field, then here you can see these all are the data types that are provided to create a custom field in a custom object or these all are the fields uh, data types that are available in the standard object also to create a field but in case of custom setting these much are only provided so here uh, you cannot create a pick list or we can say multi selected pick list you cannot create the lookup relationship also the master detail relationship okay so these much are provided so suppose i want uh, let's say i will take as a text and say next so the normal field as we create in object the similar way here you can see so i just want to store my access token so i will give the name as a access token the length i will take 18 and just say next and say save So you have created a custom setting and the field in a custom setting. Now it will behave like a custom object. So if you click on the manage button and here is the platform to insert the record in a custom setting. And if you click on the new button, yes, here you can give the name and here you can store the access token. So as I am uh, creating a custom setting for the Google Drive, I can store the access token, refresh token, redirect URL. So it is very simple. So when you go for the custom setting the first question strike in our mind is that if already we have custom object which is provided by the salesforce then why we go for the custom setting or why salesforce created a custom setting 
okay so the major difference between custom object and custom setting is that custom object is a record table and the custom setting is a configuration table in custom setting we have limit like we cannot have a trigger or we can say workflow on a custom setting so important point is that custom setting data is stored in the application cache this means you can access it efficiently but the limit of the cache memory is only 2 mb so we can retrieve all of the value in a custom setting with absolutely no impact on the governor count of means you can uh, perform the number of queries on that there is no limit for it and also the record you can fetch for that also there is no any limit so this is all about the custom set setting so thank you for watching this video guys to know about us you can visit www.paraguide.com thank you guys bye bye have a good day